How's it going, folks? I'm going to do something I was reluctant to do. I'm going to skip over two chapters. Chapter, um, yeah, chapter 7 and chapter 8 of 2 Nephi, because they're basically Isaiah chapter 50 and Isaiah chapter 51 in their entirety, uh, with some minor modifications. Yeah, little differences. If I were going to do a scholarly thing, instead of a drunken, let's party thing, uh, I'd probably dwell on this Isaiah more. I'll read some of it, but I'm going to skip to chapter 10 of 2 Nephi. Goody, goody. All right. Um, like before, Jacob was, uh, you know, in uh, the last chapter, Jacob was like ripping off uh, parts of Isaiah 49, <laughs> only to follow with 50 and 51. <laughs> but he used selections of uh, 49. Um, and it was ripped off earlier in 1 Nephi chapter 21 in its entirety. So, we're going to skip to chapter 9. So, Jacob just got through reading Isaiah 50 and 51 to the Nephites. And I don't know what, something like 40 years later, 50 years later. I don't remember. We'll find out. So, this is Jacob, I believe. And now, my beloved brethren, I have read these things that ye might know concerning the covenants of the Lord that he has covenanted with all the house of Israel. Oh, it just was getting dry. A little cotton off there. Last of the shock tops. It's a uh, Belgian white wheat ale. It's like it's cloudy. I, it's, it had all the sediment at the bottom, I, so I kind of like tipped it back and forth like Craig Tube said I should do. And mighty fine. Anyway, verse 2. That he has spoken unto the Jews by the mouth of his holy prophets, even from the beginning down, from generation to generation, until the time comes that they shall be restored to the true church and, and fold of God. You know, fold uh, for sheep, <laughs> not for books. Uh, when they shall be gathered home to the lands of their inheritance and shall be established in all their lands of promise. Behold, my beloved brethren, I speak unto you these things that ye may rejoice and lift up your heads forever. Or at least until you're dead. <laughs> because of the blessings which the Lord God shall bestow upon your children. Great. Nice. For I know that ye have searched much many of you, to know of things to come. Eh, it's not really proper, but... <clears throat> Wherefore, of things to come, right, search for things to come. Wherefore, I know that ye know that our flesh must waste away and die. No shit, Sherlock. Nevertheless, in our bodies, we shall see God. Yea, I know that ye know that in the body he shall show himself unto those at Jerusalem from whence he came. For 
it is expedient that it should be among them. For it behooveth the great Creator that he suffereth himself to become subject unto man in the flesh and die for all men that all men might become subject unto him. So because he decided that his avatar was a worthy sacrifice for him for sins that he could have just erased himself everybody's his subject his protectorate great for as death hath passed upon all men to fulfill uh, the merciful plan of the great creator there must needs be a power of resurrection because yeah I mean what's the point of dying if you're not going to come back uh, as a zombie <laughs> and the resurrection must needs come unto man by reason of the fall. And the fall come by reason of transgression. And because man became fallen, they were cut off from the presence of the Lord. Wherefore, it must needs be an infinite atonement, save it should be an infinite atonement atonement uh, uh, this corruption could not put on incorruption makes a lot of fucking sense folks don't it yeah light bulbs are going off all over YouTube land <laughs> anyone watching this is like oh, where are those bicycles guys uh, yeah yeah because corruption couldn't put on incorruption be like what Turning a sow's ear into a silk purse or some shit like that. Wherefore, the first judgment which came upon man must needs have remained to an endless duration. And if so, this flesh must have laid down to rot and to crumble to its mother earth to rise no more. Mother earth, huh? The old earth mother in the Golden Book. Yeah, that's a chapter 9, verse 7 of Second Nephi. For all you pagans that want to put that in the face of a Mother Earth biatch. Sounds a little uh, like that Earth dead. But folk magic, that's what it is. I got a copy of some of that shit that uh, Joseph Smith used to be in. The Long Lost Friend and all that. I might read up on that, so I might get one of those powwowers putting a hex on me. <laughs> one of those hexenmeisters going, oh no, you don't. But yeah, I got all that shit. <laughs> it's the same as this. Crazy fucking shit. <laughs> okay. Wherefore, it must... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Mother Earth to rise no more. Oh, the wisdom of God, his mercy and grace... For behold, if the, sh the flesh should rise no more, our spirits must become subject to that angel who fell from before the presence of the eternal God and became the devil to rise no more. And our spirits must have become like unto him, and we become devils, angels to a devil to be shut out from the presence of our God and to remain like the father of lies in misery like unto himself yea to that being who beguiled our first parents who transformeth himself nigh into an angel of light yeah Lucifer the uh, light bringer What's the first thing God said? Let there be light? Hmm. Yeah, Lucifer. That's what it means. Light bringer. An angel of light. He actually is one. And of one of darkness. Isn't that interesting? 
and stirreth up the children of men unto secret combinations of murder and all manner of secret works of darkness. You mean evil shit like, oh, like the Mountain Meadows Massacre, shit like that? Yeah, pretty fucking evil. Killing helpless people, murdering women and children, kidnapping the young ones, taking all their shit and all their booty. Oh, how great the goodness of our God, who prepareth a way for our escape from the grasp of this awful monster. Yea, that monster death and hell, which I call the death of the body and also the death of the spirit. And because of the way of deliverance of our God, the Holy One of Israel, this death of the tempor temporal shall deliver up its dead, which death is the grave, and this death of which I have spoken, which is the spiritual death, <coughs> damn, runs on a bit, don't he, shall deliver up its dead, uh, which spiritual death is hell. Wherefore, death and hell must deliver up their dead, and hell must deliver up its captive spirits. And the grave must deliver up its captive bodies. And the bodies and the spirits of men will be restored one to the other. Even those cremated people. And... It is by the power of the resurrection of the Holy One of Israel. Oh, how great the plan of our God. See, he really does have a plan, but it's mysterious, unfathomable. It's got to have faith. For, on the other hand, the paradise of God must deliver up the spirits of the righteous and the grave deliver up the body of the righteous. And the spirit and the body is restored to itself again, and all men become incorruptible and immortal. And they are living souls, having a perfect knowledge like unto us in the flesh, save it will be, save it be that our knowledge shall be perfect. Wherefore, we shall have a perfect knowledge of all our guilt and our uncleanness and our nakedness. And the righteous shall have a perfect knowledge of their enjoyment and their righteousness being clothed with purity, yea, even with the robes of righteousness. All right, I need a real drink after that. <sighs> Ooh. Good shit, folks. And a little beer chaser. All for good cause. And, and it shall come to pass. That's a nice combo, actually. Wow. That, <clears throat> that when men, when all men shall have passed from this death unto life, yeah, insomuch as they have become immortal, just keep kissing ass. You'll get there. Yeah, grovel some more. And don't forget, 10% of your gross income gross before everything. This has got to come first. And everything else, including you. Second. They must, after they become immortal, they must 
appear before the judgment seat of the Holy One of Israel, and then cometh the judgment. And then must they be judged according to the holy judgment of God. And assuredly, as the Lord liveth, for the Lord hath spoken it. So he got to be alive if he said something. Unless it's one of those, e you know, what, EVPs? And it is his eternal word, which cannot pass away that they who are righteous shall be righteous still. And they who are filthy shall be filthy still. Wherefore, they who are filthy are the devil and his angels, and they shall go away into everlasting fire. Wherefore, wait, prepare prepared, wait, fire, prepared for them and their torment is a lake of fire and brimstone whose flame ascendeth up forever and ever and also has no end. <laughs> oh, the greatness and the justice of our God. For he executed all his words, and they have gone forth out of his mouth. And his law must be fulfilled, and yet they don't capitalize his. <laughs> but behold, the righteousness, the saints of the Holy One of Israel, they who have believed in the Holy One of Israel, they who have endured the crosses of the world, because that would mean some shit to somebody in, what, 500 B.C. Six, five, six hundred B.C. Fuck it. <laughs> oh. Oh, forever and ever without end. I love that shit. Except I lost my place. Oh, we're crosses of the world and despised the shame of it. They shall inherit the king of God, which was prepared for them from the foundation of the world, and their joy shall be full forever. I should have done a forever drinking game. Ooh. Fuck it. Who cares for rules anyway? Ah. Oh, the greatness of the mercy of our God, the Holy One of Israel. For he delivereth his saints from that awful monster, the devil, and death, and hell, and that lake of fire and brimstone, which is endless torment. <laughs> That's verse 19. <laughs> Oh, how great the holiness of our God. Not mine, biatch. I don't have one. For he knoweth all things right. And there is not anything save he knows it. <laughs> and he cometh into the world that he may save all men by croaking and then uncroaking <laughs> and then waiting 2,000 years and probably waiting another 1,000 years if my math is correct and uh, a 1,000 years is a day to God he's three days in the crypt and he's alive again two centuries gone by I mean two thousand years gone by excuse me I'm stoked another 1,000 years ago yeah. He knows every fucking thing. There we go. And he cometh into the world that he may save all men, if they will hearken to, unto his voice. For behold, he suffereth the pains of all men. Because he's a fucking masochist, that's why. 
His dad's a sadist, his son's a masochist. Go figure. I can't... It's nice that his, the kid took over the dad, dad's family business, you know, because I guess things are supposed to lighten up a little, although I don't see much hell in the Old Testament. So maybe not. Jesus. <sighs> Uh, he suffered the pains of all men. Yea, the pains of every living creature. All of them. Even that cockroach I just stepped on. Those snails that we accidentally step on and go, Oh, God. Ugh. You're hurting Jesus every time you do that. I just want you to know. Every living creature, both men, women, and children, who belong to the family of Adam. <laughs> and he suffereth this, that the resurrection might pass upon all men. Thanks. <laughs> that all might stand before him at the great judgment day. And he commandeth all men that they must repent and grovel. <laughs> yeah. Broken heart, contrite spirit, and all that shit. Yeah, they must repent and be baptized in his name. I don't think so. Having perfect faith in the Holy One of Israel. Is that fucking possible even for fanatics? I don't think so. Everybody's got a little worm of doubt, don't they? The crazier they are, the worse the worm. Perfect faith in the Holy One of Israel, or they cannot be saved in the kingdom of God. That's fine. And if they will not repent... Fuck you. <laughs> and believe in his name. And be baptized in his name. And endure to the end. All that fucking persecution that's happening to Christians. Uh, let's see. Nope, don't see any. <laughs> Even the shit they claim is now being put in doubt. I guess I'm a denier. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Alright. Hang on. Death and hell and the devil in the lake of fire. Da -da 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 -da. But woe unto him who has the law given. Yay. Yay. That has all the commandments of God, like unto us, and that transgresseth, 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 I think I got it, <laughs> them, and that wasteth the days of his probation. I didn't even pay the bail. <laughs> For awful. It's his state. Oh, yeah, I'm really fucking suffering here. <laughs> oh, that cunning. <coughs> oh, that cunning plan of the evil one. The evil one. <laughs> fucking evil one. With his fucking plan. I'll bet it's better than God's. <laughs> oh, I lost my place again. Sorry. I'll find him a second. Hang on. <laughs>
Oh, cunning is a plan of the evil one and the foolishness of men. I admit it. I've been pretty damn foolish. When they are learned, they think they are wise. You mean reading this book didn't make me smart? A chip. I want all that time back. And they hearken not unto the counsel of God. I would, if he ever talked to me. I'm always receptive, believe it or not. I am always receptive. Uh, for they set it aside, supposing they know themselves. Wherefore, their wisdom is foolishness. And and it profiteth them not, and they shall perish, because we hate them, those know-it-alls. But to the learned, but, but, but to be learned is good, if they hearken unto the counsels of God. Well, speak up, then. I mean, the silence is fucking death. But woe unto the rich, who are rich as to the things of the world. We get it. You didn't need that clarification. For because they are rich, they despise the poor, and they persecuteth the meek. Okay, fine. I don't mind that much. You know, America's pretty cool that way. You know, anybody can become rich. Goddamn buzz killer. Uh, and their hearts are upon their treasures, wherefore their treasure is their God. All right, good point. If you gotta have a God, let me gold. But woe unto the rich who are rich. Wait. wait. Where at? Wait. Maybe. Their hearts are in their treasures. Wherefore, their treasure is their God. And behold, their treasures shall perish with them also. And woe also the deaf that will not hear. You're going to blame handicapped people now? The deaf who will not hear? It's fine, people who won't listen, but you said the deaf who won't hear. Won't? Can't? You fucking asshole. Here's a sign for ya. <laughs> uh, the deaf who will not hear. For they shall perish. Yeah, everybody's gonna do that. It's too fucking bad, too. Woe also the blind that they will not see. I know what you mean, but that's a fucked up way of saying it, Joe. Joe Jr., Mr. Fucking Prophet. Fuck you. I guess I'm damned now. I just damned a prophet, my first one. Woe also, wait, woe unto the uncircumcised of heart. Like I had a, any voice in that decision. For a knowledge of their iniquities shall smite them at the last day. Fuck you. Gee, I guess I'm getting a little annoyed now. Woe, un, uh, woe unto the liar, for she shall be thrust down to hell. Woe unto the murderer who deliberate deliberately killeth, for he shall die. Not always. Woe unto them who commit whoredoms, for they shall be thrust down to hell. Yea, woe unto those who that worship idols, 
You mean like the cross? Like crucifixes? For the devil of all devils delighteth in them. The devil of all devils. No middleman. <laughs> cool, no waiting. And in fine woe unto all those who die in their sins, for they shall return to God and behold his face and remain in their sins. Oh, my beloved brethren, remember the awfulness in transgressing against that holy God and also the awfulness of yielding to the enticings of that cunning one. Remember also the carnally minded is death. To be more carnally minded is death and to be spiritually minded is life eternal even after you die. You just keep going on living. Believe it. Go ahead. What will it hurt? And keep putting those wisdom teeth under your pillow. Fucking idiot. Oh, my beloved brethren. <laughs> Give ear to my words. Remember the greatness of the Holy One of Israel. Do not say that I have spoken hard things against you. For if ye do... Ye will revile against the truth, for I have spoken the words of your Maker. I know that the words of truth are hard against the uncleanness, but the righteous fear them not. <coughs> I must be righteous. I don't fear them either. For they love the truth and are not shaken. Hey, I'm pretty fond of the truth. Why don't you start telling it, asshole? Mm, that's kind of nice. Oh, then, my br beloved brethren, come unto the Lord, the Holy One. <laughs> Remember that his paths are righteousness. Behold, the way of man is narrow, but lieth is the straight course before him, and the keeper of the gate is the Holy One of Israel. The whole world, that little teeny patch of desert. And he employeth no servant there, and there is none other way save it be by the gate for he cannot be deceived for the Lord God is his name <laughs> start playing with serpents it didn't really say that but I wonder <laughs> and whoso knocketh to him will he open and the wise and the learned and they that are rich, who are puffed up because of their learning smarty pants. Yeah, Mr. Joe College. Oops. Not this Joe. Not this one. Uh, uh, <laughs> there is them and their riches, yea, they are they who he despiseth, and say they shall cast these things away and give it to the Mormon church, and consider themselves fools before God, you bet you. That's what I always think. And come down in the depths of humility. He will not open unto them. That's fine. Fuck you. But the things of the wise and the prudent shall be hidden from them forever. 
yea, that happiness which is prepared for the saints. Oh, my beloved brethren, remember my words. What are the fuck that meant? All of that fucking dribble. Behold, I have taken off my garments, and I shake them before you. Before you. What the fuck? I pray the God of my salvation that he view me with his all-searching eye. Wherefore, he shall know at the last day, when all men shall be judged of their works, that the God of Israel did witness that I shook your iniquities from my soul by doing that. <laughs> and that I stand with brightness. I thought I was supposed to be a bright. Uh-oh. Before him, and I am rid of your blood. Is that what they did during the, after the Mountain Meadows Massacre? Yeah. It's better than uh, adding bleach to your detergent. Make those whites really white. Oh, my beloved brethren, turn away from your sins. Shake off the chains of him that would bind you fast. Come unto the God who is the rock of your salvation. Smoke that rock, biatch. Prepare your soul for that glorious day when justice shall be administered unto the righteous, even the day of judgment, that ye shall not, that ye, that ye shall not remember your awful guilt in perfection, and be constrained to exclaim, Holy, holy are thy judgments, O Lord God Almighty. But I know my guilt. I transgress thy law, and my transgressions are mine. And the devil hath obtained me, that I am a prey to his awful mercy. Yeah. But behold, my brethren, it is expedient that I should awake you to an awful reality of these things. Would I harrow up your souls if your minds were pure? Would I proclaim unto you according to the plainness, plainness of the truth? For ye are freed from sin. This is terrible. Behold, if ye were holy, I would speak unto you of holiness. But as ye are not holy, oh, and ye look upon me as a teacher, it must needs be expedient that I teach you the consequences of sin. Behold, my soul abhorreth sin, and my heart delighteth in righteousness, and I praise the holy name of my God. Which one? Come, my brethren, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come buy and eat some, buy and eat, yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore, do not spend money for that which is of no worth, nor your labor for that <coughs> which cannot satisfy, but this can. Ah, that's better. 
Hearken diligently unto me, and remember the words which I have spoken, and come unto the Holy One of Israel, and feast upon that which perisheth, perisheth it not. Neither can be corrupted, and let your soul delight in fatness. And that's not with a pH. Behold, my beloved brethren, remember the words of your God. Not those other ones. Pray unto him continually by day, and you won't get much done. <laughs> uh, continually by day, and give thanks unto his holy name by night. Let your hearts rejoice. And behold, how great the covenants of the Lord, and how great his condescensions unto the children of men. Yeah, I think he could do a little better. And because of his greatness and his grace and mercy, I give him a D minus. Nah, I give him a fucking F. A fuck you. Fucking F. That's how good he's done if he exists. He knows where I'm at. We'll do a video together if he wants. <laughs> His grace and mercy. He has promised unto us that our she seed shall not be utterly destroyed. That's nice. According to the flesh. But that he would preserve them and in future generations they shall come they shall become a righteous branch unto the house of Israel and now my brethren I would speak unto you more but on the morrow I will declare unto you the remainder of my words Amen fucking finally anyway this is long enough